Uh, Grant from Michigan, where did elevation, where did evolution come from? Some very sick, ignorant people brought forth evolution. Now, for evolution to be a fact, it would have to be never ending. In other words, if it was a fact, you would have to have every stage of transition from amoebas up to a complete um, uh, good-looking guy like myself, okay, and and or like the one behind this cal uh, camera right here, finished product. All right, they'd have to be migrating to that. But where are they? You know, you go out here in a bank and dig out a, a snail shell that's fifty thousand years old and and it looks like a snail, shaped like a snail. Dear God, it's a snail. Okay. It's still the same. It never changes. God created it. That's it. End of story. But these idiots go out here about 50 feet off the ground and start building a foundation. Do you know what happens when you build a foundation 50 feet off the ground without any piling? It comes crashing down. It can't stand if people just use a little common sense. Then all you have to say is if, if evolution is true, where is it? Okay. And then you know what they'll pull on you? They'll say, well, there's the Neanderthal man. Oh, well, show me. And do you know what they will show you? They'll show you the little piece of a jawbone. And a paleontologist took this little piece of jawbone and put it all together in a perfect way. It's an ape looks just like an ape today, was yesterday, is today, and will be forever, as long as God allows it. Okay. And that's the, it's just a bunch of malarkey. There is no proof whatsoever. And if people want to be ignorant, just let them be ignorant, okay? That's, we, we covered that in today's lecture, didn't we? If a person wants to be ignorant, let them be ignorant still, but don't you be.